एवरीवन अ वेरी लॉजिकल मॉर्निंग टू यू ऑल वेलकम टू द क्विज टाइम क्विज टाइम जो कि है फिफ्थ मार्च पे बेस्ड अगर आप ये क्विज अटेम्प्ट करना चाहते हो सो इट्स वेरी सिंपल जस्ट फॉलो सब्सक्राइब विद इग्य एंड एवरी डे बेसिस पे यू कैन गेट दीज क्विजेस एंड दे आर सो लाइक टाइम टेकिंग बिल्कुल नहीं है यूल जस्ट नीड फाइव मिनट्स फॉर द जी के क्विज एंड फाइव मिनट्स फॉर द वोकेबुलरी क्विज सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद टू डेज फिफ्थ मार्च का क्विज है आई होप न्यूज पेपर पढ़ लिया है सबने विद इन फाइव मिनट्स हमें क्विज सॉल्व करेंगे फॉर बेस्ट रिजल्ट सॉल्व इट अलॉन्ग विथ मी एंड कीप अ स्कोर सो दैट यू कैन मॉनिटर ऑन एवरी डे बेसिस ओके लेट्स बिगिन जी के क्विज है फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आ चुका है आई एम गोइंग टू रीड इट राइट नाउ विच कंट्री साइंस अ डील विद मॉलडीव टू प्रोवाइड फ्री मिलिट्री असिस्टेंस इज इट चाइना इज इट इंडिया इज इट यूएस और इज इट जापान करेक्ट आंसर देख लेते हैं करेक्ट आंसर इज ए चाइना एवरी वन मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू द अदिति स्कीम इज अंडर विच यूनियन मिनिस्ट्री यू हैव टू टेल मी इज इट मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ डब्ल्यू सी डी इज इट एजुकेशन मिनिस्ट्री इज इट फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री और इज इट डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री करेक्ट आंसर चेक कर लेते हैं और राइट करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी एज यू कैन सी डिफेंस मिनिस्ट्री अदिति स्कीम फॉल्स अंडर द आई डी एक्स फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ डिफेंस All right, number three. Greenland has its own extensive local government, but it is part of which country? Is it Norway? Is it UK? Is it Denmark? Or is it Iceland? Correct answer. देख लेते हैं. Option C, Denmark is the correct answer. See, it's that simple. And uh, daily basis पे you have the current affairs section covered. Number four. Dash judges were part of the constitution bench that overrules majority verdict in JMM bribery case. You have to tell me how many judges. Was it three? Was it five? Was it seven? Or was it nine? Correct answer is seven judges. Number five. Already halfway through the quiz, which country becomes world's first country to make abortion a constitutional right? Is it Norway? Is it Denmark? Is it USA? Or is it France? Just tell me the correct answer, everyone. It's option D, France. France becomes the first. country to make abortion a constitutional right number 6 which state government announced mukhya mantri mahila samman yojana is it delhi is it madhya pradesh is it rajasthan or is it gujarat correct answer dekh lete hain it's delhi everyone delhi announced mukhya mantri mahila samman yojana is par based ek aur question hai under delhi is government mukhya mantri mahila samman yojana every woman over 18 years will receive an honorarium of kitne rupees per month you have to tell me is it 1000 rupees is it 1500 is it 2000 or is it 3000 jaldi se bata do answer answer hai yes 1000 rupees every month number 8 women business and law index is released by is it wto is it imf is it undp or is it the world bank correct answer i can see many of you have got the answer correct it's d world bank Number nine. What is India's rank in the World Bank's Women, Business, and Law Index? Is it ninety-six? Is it hundred and thirteen? Is it one twenty-six or is it one thirty-three? Correct answer is one hundred thirteen, guys. Great job, everyone. Now, one one last question is, which we will discuss a little bit more. Number nine, coming right up on your screen. Project Seabird is under which union ministry? Is it Ministry of EFCC? Is it Ministry of Home Affairs? Is it Ministry of Defence or is it Ministry of HU? As you can see, the correct answer is on the screen. Ministry of Defence. The Project Seabird Phase Two A works involve construction of a wide range of facilities and also augmentation of certain existing facilities in naval base karwar so this brings us to the end of the gk quiz but quiz yahan khatam nahi hua hai kahan ja rahe ho wait we have another 5 minutes for english vocabulary quiz as well vocabulary words based on the hindu and other daily newspapers so let's start with vocabulary question number 1 The dog's unwavering dash to its owner was evident in its loyalty and devotion. Is it a betrayal? Is it B fidelity? Is it treachery or is it perfidy? Fidelity is the correct answer here. Let's check. Yes, fidelity is correct. Because dog's unwavering fidelity, loyalty towards towards its owner. Fidelity is loyalty. Infidelity is betrayal. treachery dhoka dena perfidy is also not being loyal all right question number 2 everyone his dash and confidence allowed him to pitch bold ideas during the business meeting is it timidity is it reticence is it hatspa or is it hesitation 
करेक्ट आंसर देख लेते हैं करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी हथ्सपा यस द सी इज गोइंग टू बी साइलेंट हियर वी प्रोनाउंस इट एज हथ्सपा हथ्सपा इज अ काइंड ऑफ अडेसिटी अ काइंड ऑफ बोल्डनेस जैसे यहां पे कॉन्फिडेंस लिखा हुआ है हिज हथ्सपा एंड कॉन्फिडेंस अलाउड हिम टू पिच बोल्ड आइडियाज सो इज बोल्डनेस The author's use of dash language made the novel relatable and accessible to a wide audience. Is it formal? Is it colloquial? Is it polished or is it stilted? Correct answer. देख लेते हैं. Correct answer is colloquial. Colloquial is a kind of a language that can be easily understood by everyone. Kind of an informal language. क्योंकि जो बहुत formal और stiff language होती है, वो हर किसी के comfort zone में नहीं होती है. So the author's use of colloquial, very conversational, very informal language. बाकी formal polished and stilted all uh, lean and inclined towards the word formal language number 4 the marriage was dashed due to legal irregularities rendering it null and void is it a annulled is it b validated is it c ratified or is it d sanctified करेक्ट आंसर देख लेते हैं करेक्ट आंसर इज अनल्ड यस नल एंड वॉइड से हम ये ले सकते हैं अनल्ड व्हेन अ मैरिज इज अनल्ड मींस इट बिकम्स नल एंड वॉइड अनलमेंट कैन बी डन फॉर अग्रीमेंट्स एंड पार्टिसिपेशन ऑफ टू पार्टीज यू आर ब्रिंगिंग समथिंग टू एंड एंड इट बिकम्स नल एंड वॉइड ओके इनवैलिडेट कर देना किसी चीज को तो वैलिडेटेड ऑब्वियसली इनकरेक्ट हो गया रैटिफाई रैटिफाई करना इज टू वेरी मच वैलिडेटेड दैट इज अगेन ऑफिशियल बेसिस पे जब आप वैलिडेट करते हो किसी चीज को दैट्स अगेन इनकरेक्ट सैंक्टिफाइड सैंक्टिफाइड मींस जब आप किसी चीज को सेक्रेड बनाते हो होलीनेस ऑफ समथिंग व्हेन समथिंग बिकम्स होली और सेक्रेट दैट इज सैंक्टिफाइड चलो नंबर फाइव एवरी वन दीज डैश बिहेवियर ड्यूरिंग द बोर्ड मीटिंग शॉक्ड एवरी वन प्रेजेंट इज इट ए डेकोरस इज इट बी रिफाइंड इज इट सी इन डेकोरस और इज इट डी रकस द सीईओज डैश बिहेवियर Shocked everyone present. Up correct answer guess कर लो um, because I am going to show the correct answer now. It's indecorous. Decorous is acceptable, very nice behavior. But indecorous क्या हो जाता है Very shocking, inappropriate behavior. Refined नहीं हो सकता Ruckus is simply noise, loud noise. So that's ruckus disturbance. All right, number सिक्स The loud thunderclap echoed with a powerful dash throughout the valley. Is it A quietude. Is it B stillness? Is it C reverberation? Or is it D serenity? The correct answer is C reverberation. Hint, देख लेते हैं. The loud thunderclap echoed with a powerful dash throughout the valley. The loud thunderclap echoed. जो echoed sound after जो बहुत देर तक वो sound रहता है, उसे हम reverberation बोलते हैं. In this context. Let's move to next question, everyone. Number seven. The small village by the river provided a perfect dash for those seeking peace and tranquility. Keywords दे दिए हैं पीस एंड ट्रैंकुलटी योर ऑप्शन आर एक ए के ऑस बी टर्मोइल सी आइडल और इज इट डी डिस एरे की वर्ड्स को यूज करके एक आंसर सिलेक्ट कर लीजिए लेट्स मूव टू द आंसर इट्स आइडल बिकॉज के ऑस टर्मोइल एंड डिसरे ऑल गो ऑपोजिट टू दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ स्मॉल विलेज बाय द रिवर एक परफेक्ट सीनरी नेचुरल ब्यूटी और साइलेंस और पीस की बात कर रहे हैं सो आइडल इज करेक्ट A the artist paintings were highly dashed stirring deep emotions and memories in those who viewed them is it a forgettable is it b bland is it c evocative or is it d apathetic highly dash deep emotions and memories in those who viewed them is pe based answer select karna hai let's move to the correct answer it's evocative evocative is related to strong emotion something that stirs very strong emotions in you so wo forgettable to nahi ho sakta bland is very simple lacking taste very plain wo bhi nahi ho sakta same is apathetic apathetic is emotionless lacking emotions so b evocative is correct number 9 the young chef was eager to learn from the experienced master chef and began working as a or n dash in the re renowned kitchen is it a mentor is it apprentice is it protege or is it veteran correct answer kaise nikalna hai young chef hai eager to learn from someone who is very experienced a master chef and he began working in his very renowned kitchen so mentor nahi hoga opposite chala jayega correct answer is apprentice apprentice is someone who works under a very experienced person he doesn't care about what the pay is like but he wants to learn 
very eager to learn so he starts working under someone who is very experienced and makes him as his mentor protege bhi kafi had tak wahi hota hai but protege is someone who takes under you your under someone who takes you under his wing like he is my protege matlab i am now going to train him but that person is usually very powerful and he will protect you also at several steps so that is how apprentice and protege go different in some context veteran veteran is an experienced person opposite jayega yahan pe last question for vocabulary here the secretive dash plotted behind closed doors aiming to influence the outcome of the political election सीक्रेटिव है हमारा कीवर्ड यहाँ पे उस पर बेस्ड एक आंसर सिलेक्ट कर लो आई एम टेलिंग यू ऑप्शन इज इट इंक्लूसिविटी इज इट असेंबली इज इट कबाल और इज इट कमिटी बहुत स्पेसिफिक आंसर है यहाँ पे सीक्रेटिव कबाल बिकॉज कबाल इज अक्रेटिव पोलिटिकल गैदरिंग बोल लो ऐसा सो कबाल इज सीक्रेटिव जबकि इंक्लूसिविटी असेंबली या कमिटी नॉट नेसेसरीली दे विल बी सीक्रेटिव सो Okay, so C Kabal is correct here. This brings us to the end of vocabulary quiz as well. Thank you so much for joining the quiz. Stay tuned for more quizzes and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Stay logical, and I'll see you again tomorrow.